are showing different types of meters the first one is power factor meter and then second one is voltage meter and then third one is heights meter and fourth one is ammeter ordinary ammeter so ammeter having a two terminals so the two terminals here connecting for between the line or between uh, across the CT so this is a, a rating mentioned for here the 200 ampere 5 public 5 so this is a ordinary ammeter so the needle will flow up to top so this is for heights meter we are measuring frequency this is also having a two terminals so the, the two terminal we are, we are going to connect phase and neutral directly for uh, system electrical system so the needle will flow up and down this is for voltmeter so this is also having a range of 500 voltage and then this is having a two leaf for phase and neutral we need to phase and neutral and phase to phase we need easily connect to backside of meter so this is for very important uh, power factor meter this is mentioned in lagging power factor and leading power factor directly by moving the lead and up and downs so this is having a four terminals the four terminals how to connect we see here i show in the one C reference city we record for a red phase and then the two phases directly we take out in here see here these two terminals are two phases we take out on here and then the the two things this is for ct take out on here so that's all so now we are going to see practically parallelically of theory see here so this is a maximum demand indication ammeter see here so this is for having a two terminals already shown and now i am sure going to show for the theoretical also so see here before practically so here uh, we have a two needles one one is for deflecting needles that means the reading showing another one is maximum demand if the orange color reading is maximum demand is showing it needle uh, this one is 6,600 by 5 and 15 minutes timing to mentioning the maximum demand this one is uh, we are keep the zero portion after the take of the reading so that now so this is for maximum demand ammeter hi guys today we are going to see the metering connections connection and terminations so mainly we are going to see today uh, the maximum demand demand current <coughs> meter and then its meter Power factor meter and then voltage meter and then current meter. So generally we see these are the meters we use for commonly for uh, electrical monitoring systems. So now we are going to see the first one is current and current meter so already current meter we are mentioning EA we connect current meter like this we have any loads on here so low this is for phase this is for phase so this is one sorry this is one neutral so this is for phase so here we putting ammeter on between line for serial 
suppose in the higher range of current flow we didn't make uh, that much of ammeter and here so that time we make some current transformer and here for compared to rating and we are giving a ammeter and here so this is the condition of ammeter if you connect an voltmeter between the voltage meter between the phase and neutral or phase two phase this is the purpose of connecting voltmeter and then heats meter also we cannot like this only so heats meter we are going to measure the frequency so uh, voltage meter we are going to measure voltage and the current meter we are going to current we are going to measure current this is the purpose of we are mentioning on here 3 meters after that we see the maximum demand indication current meter so here the maximum demand indication current meter having a 2 needle sun here the 1 needle indicates the flowing of current at the instant and then another 1 needle will indicate the maximum demand reached at this at last 15 minutes that means if the 400 ampere current will flow for before 10 minute that one is recorded to stay on that uh, needle on here so the after that we are come and see that the reading of maximum how much current flow in this circuit so that is the purpose of we are using a maximum demand indication meter after that the power factor meter so this is a very important one so if any circuit three phase circuit we have r y b so the power factor meter need to some reference phase phase meter so after that this is need for and another and two phases also so this is the condition of power factor meter realistically we are going to see the metering and then the three forces of available in meter so this is a way of meter work on here first one is deflecting force and then second one is moving force and then third one is controlling force this is the main three forces to the meter working in working and showing ready the first one is deflecting force the deflecting force means the meter need to move the needle and here to here or some reading on here that means uh, if you have any reading on here the the need for some moving force that the force will give you for a deflecting force the finally they having control force the control piece will control that means the more this is a limitation so don't go for this that means the more than that means the more than reading of the, that meter also suppose we have a 200 ampere on here the so more than 200 ampere not possible so the after that the 200 ampere the controlling force control the needed and then the moving force will move the meter and up and down up and down up and down so that time that the vibration will be occurred on here so that time what happened the we don't we don't see the uh, standard reading on here so that time the control force that time also worked to stay on this needle and the one position so that's why we make the three force to control the uh, metering uh, we have a lot of metering system in electrical so this is the main metering system we use for an electrical that's why i show in this metering system uh, if you have any doubt please comment here don't forget to subscribe my channel the watch the two above videos for you only Thank you for watching. Created with free version for non-commercial use.